Simon's room. Um, so this is week 34 uh, and the topic is changing the rules. It's about legislations. Well, I'm an anarchist, so, well, I don't really believe in, I don't really believe in state, in the state. So, um, I also don't really believe so much in legislation. And if we want to change uh, the way it is within those boundaries that are put up for society today, um, there are many things I would like to change. I, I would like to change just the way that the society is built up, but uh, that's a whole different story. I live in Denmark, uh, and transgender legislations here are ridiculously tough. It is unbelievably hard to be recognized as being transsexual. It's still looked as as a disease, like a sexual disease, a mental illness. And we have the, this um, center, like it's called Sexological Clinic, where I think there is like around 40 people who apply to get a sex change. And they only uh, accept five a year. And out of them five, it's only one. F2M. If they are going to accept you as being uh, transsexual, you have to be straight. Um, if you're gay, then they don't, they, they don't recognize you as being transsexual. You have to be like, not too young, but not too old either. You can't be overweight. For example, if it's F2M, you have to have lived with your, with a male pronoun and your male name in two years and you have to have lived as, as male for two years um, around your colleagues and your family and everything like that and it takes like five years like it takes one year to get to to go in, in therapy where they're just like asking you all these kind of crazy questions and uh, and trying to make you believe that you're really sick and then it takes then after that, then you have to be in testosterone for two years before you can get any surgery. Uh, so, like, it's just really, 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 really fucked up. We have these social security numbers, and when you're uh, born female, you have, like, equal number in the end as a social security number. If you were born a male, you have uh, an unequal number in the end of the social security number. And you give that to like everyone like when where you apply for jobs the doctors um the police if you get arrested it kind of gives it away oh you were born a female and you can only change your social security number uh, if you're sterilized uh in in the F2M case or M2F, I think it's the bottom surgery but I'm not quite sure but it's something about like that you can you're not allowed to reproduce and the name law is that if you have a female uh, social security number, you're not allowed to take a male name. There are a male name list and then there is a female male, uh, female name list. And you're not allowed, like I'm not allowed to take a male name from the male list. Then there are some names, there are, I think maybe there are 50 names or something like that, maybe a little bit more, that are both on the male and female list. Uh, so what I did was to take uh, another first name that was on the androgynous list uh, and then took my name back for middle name because I'm not allowed to take that as a first name. So that's, yeah, that's what most people do, but it's just really crazy. So what people do is transitioning themselves, like privately find a doctor that uh, knows about hormones uh, and and sex change and I paid for my surgery myself right I went to Germany no one really do the surgeries in in Denmark because there's only these five people a year so they're not really good at it and they never really done it so much so um, it's all also I think if you live in Denmark recommendable to go to another country go, go to Germany go to England something like that 
uh, if you're an F2M um, for the top surgery. Uh, if you're an M2F, I know uh, I have some friends that went to Thailand uh, to get it done there because they're really good at it there. You just need to do your your research. Like you have to you have to just like look for knowledge, and then it's really good that you have these kind of communities. So you, we have this YouTube community where there's so many transgender people talking about these things, and we also have places like men's room and stuff like that. The question is. If you could pass any kind of transgender legislation, what would it be and why? Uh, I guess I have told you what it would be, and I guess I've also told you why it would change. It's fucking madness. Like, I think that if someone thinks that they're transgender or transsexual or something else and wants to change something, um, it sh it should be illegal. They still think that it's a it's a mental illness that you're being transsexual like what the hell like i'm not i'm not mental sick when i'm being transgender that's just my gender like they, they push people out where they go to doctors that don't know shit about the hormones they give people and give them like bigger dose than they need they give, they put them in with dirty needles and stuff like that like there is so many fucked up things going on here. What I would change? I would change the fucking everything. It shouldn't be... It shouldn't be like a small staff of people who are all, may I say, cisgendered, heterosexual people to decide if you're transsexual or not. Like, what makes a transsexual? No one else can tell you what you are but yourself. I get so angry about it. So I don't really feel so good about the legislation. <laughs> what am I doing about it? I don't like that question and that's because I don't really do anything. It's because that I'm an anarchist that I I don't really like working with the laws because I, I don't like to reinforce the, the state of Denmark. I don't, I hate the state of Denmark. I hate the way it's working. Um, I hate that we have a sensitive democracy. It doesn't work at all. So I'm not really doing so much about it. I know there are some groups here. The LGBT group. Like, this is also a big thing. Like, the, the LGBT organization in uh, Denmark just changed their name to L LGBT. Uh, Denmark instead of LBL. LBL in Danish is written for or is short for the country society or union or whatever it's called uh, for gay men and lesbians and they didn't really accept transgender people for a long long period of time. They just began to, to um, to accept transgender people and bisexuals and now it's called LGBT and it just changed the name so and that's cool because that means that there is a there is a country uh, society or country union <laughs> I don't even know what it means country of the state organization that like um, that fights for transgender rights and that's cool that's really cool um, I really hope it helps and we have this party, and they have a queer, um, a queer group within the party, and there's this woman there, and she just made this proposition, and it was about that that it was like that transgender people should uh, be allowed to pick their own names and social security numbers. So that's cool. I thought about many times doing something about transgender rights in the jail in jails, cause. There are none, like, and there are transgender people coming, to, going to jail, um, and sitting in the wrong departments, sitting, like, M2F sitting in the men's department, and F2M sitting in the women's department. It has made me, uh, not wanting to do so much direct action political work, because I'm really afraid of getting arrested, because I don't want to be in women's jail. Um, um, so I have thought about maybe, maybe making some kind of work around that.